Hi everyone, it's Kaido coming to you once again as the Teddy Bear Thinker. Happy May Day, happy Aloha Friday. Um, it's a special Aloha Friday as it is May Day. And where I'm originally from, my birth state of Hawaii, May Day is Lay Day. And what is a lay? A lay is a traditional item that we go ahead and give to people when we're honoring them or just simply expressing some aloha. And aloha is much more than just a greeting. It's much more than saying hello or goodbye to anyone. It's an expression of compassion, of empathy, of love, of reaching out to your family member, uh, to your friend, um, to uh, some other member that in your community that you are honoring because of some sort of promotion, uh, some sort of graduation, or anything like that. Again, just to simply express some aloha. You can express some aloha with the gift of a lay. So as a private school teacher here in Clark County, Nevada, I know that we're going through some difficult times right now with distance learning. Uh, some of our parents, their patients, they're, it's being tested, it's being taken to whole new levels, uh, not being used to homeschooling their children. Uh, children, uh, you may be wondering, how do I learn this way or anything like that? So again, my whole goal with today's activity of showing you how to make a lay out of yarn is just to go ahead and provide you a new activity while you're at home. And parents, go ahead, just play the video. Uh, we'll make a lay. Uh, you can go ahead and relax, have some time to relax. And um, children watching, again, this is just your opportunity to go ahead and make something so simple out of some yarn that you may have lying around the house. If not, I'm sure you, your parents can go ahead and visit a local store or just order it online. It's a very simple project. In fact, I actually learned how to make this kind of style lay uh, when I was in elementary school. So here we go. Again, all you need is some yarn. Does not need to be a gigantic ball of yarn just like this. Does not need to be yellow. Could be any size, any color that you choose. In fact, if you once you get so pro at making these, you could do double colors, you could do triple colors, whatever it is you want. So here we go. Again, all you need is some yarn and your handy dandy hands. So high five, stick that high five up, keep it up there. You need all five fingers right up all the time. What you're gonna do with the yarn, one end of the yarn, again, we haven't cut any pieces. They're all still connected to the big ball of yarn. You're gonna go ahead and drape it right over your thumb, just like that, okay? What we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to tie a knot over here in order uh, to keep the yarn from completely moving while we're working with it to make to start forming that lay. So here we go. All you have to do is grab one end, tie a knot. We're going to double knot it, okay, so to make sure it's super secure, but we're not going to pull so tight on it because we don't want to cut circulation or blood circulation from our thumb. So here we go. Double knot there. Just like that. Again, and you see how I'm pulling in not too tight. It's just gent gently, just in a very gentle way. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be weaving in and out of our fingers just like that. In and out and in and out and in and out. Okay? We follow. So take, again, so this part is the knot. You could leave it just like that. Okay? Now you're going to have to, the yarn, again, it's still attached to the ball of yarn. You're going to have to weave in and out of your fingers. What you're going to do is go behind your pointer finger, in front of your middle finger, okay? Behind your ring finger, and in front of your pinky. Now you're going to have to weave right back that way. So we're going to go behind the pinky, in front of our ring finger, behind the middle finger, in front of our pointer. So you've got it all just like that. Great. So now, after that, what you're going to have to do, and you can see behind my fingers, just like that, just like that. Now we're going to have to go ahead and just wrap around. Wrap around once, just as I had done that way. So you can see what we've got there. Just done just like that. So now what we have to do, what we're going to be doing now, is with your other hand, okay, is you're going to be flipping... We're grabbing these, pinching the yarn here, and going over and under. Over and under. Over. Send the finger standing up under. Okay. Over. Under. I'll do it again. Closer to the camera. 
So it's just like that, the yarn that's still attached to the ball. You keep having to go another layer on top, just like that, okay? Another layer on top. Looks just like that. Then we keep going like this, over, under, over, under, over, under, okay? Again, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Fairly simple, okay? Again, just like that. Grab the yarn. Once again, we need more yarn, so put it right over. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. So if you take a look at the back, it almost looks just like a web. It's a web forming back there, and that's how it's supposed to look. We're going to keep doing that for a while, okay? Keep doing that for a while until a whole bunch of it um, gathers back there, okay? You see it, you, you, and then sometimes it's going to start slipping off your fingers, but you simply just push it back. Push them back down to make sure they're always like that down there. Keep grabbing more yarn over. Right, all of it on top like that, okay? Just like that, okay? Okay, so keep going, keep going. You're gonna have to keep doing it multiple times. And again, until you start really, really building it up in the back there. I'm going to do it at least two more times, and then I'm going to show you the next step, what we do. So, one more time there, and then once more after this. Okay, over, under, over, under, over, under. Ooh, almost had a mistake there. Okay, got it, saved it. Okay, now, so after a while, you're going to have a whole bunch packed up there, less like that. Now what you're going to do with your thumb here, the thumb part, you're going to take it off, okay? Take it off your thumb just like that, just your thumb, all other fingers it's still on. Let it hang, show you in the back, okay? This is how it's looking. What you're going to do, again, this is the part that was on your thumb, you're going to start to pull it, pull it down gently and you see the webbed yarn starting to form a little leg. Okay, so again, this is the very basic one we've learned in elementary school. When I was in elementary school, it's starting to form. Uh, we're gonna keep going. So every now and then you wanna keep making sure that you pull down on it and you, keep, you see how it keeps getting longer and longer. It's not quite there yet. You want to go ahead and check that you can actually fit around your neck and then obviously you can see that it's too short okay so again keep going at it okay around and over and under over and under okay over and under uh, maybe for a little maybe if you want to just keep counting them if you want to practice your counting for our younger elementary students if you want to practice your counting maybe you could go ahead and practice how many times you have to go around and over and under and over and under in order to make it as long as you want. Again, as you can see, it's still too short there, so I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. As you can see that it's getting longer and longer as we keep adding more and more to the yarn there, okay? All right, so over and under, over and under. Don't forget that step first to go around from the whole ball. You keep pulling from the ball. So again, just keep going and going and going until it gets to a length that's acceptable, again, around your neck. As you can see, that with this lay here, it drapes all the way down to about a little past my chest. That it's, that's about a good size, or it could just be about there. Some people have it even shorter, and that's all right. So whatever it is that you want, again, it doesn't look so good if it's just like that, okay? But again, if it's at a length where, okay, that's not too bad, but again, we can keep going and going and going or keep going around and over and under, around and over and under, okay? Around, over and under, over and under, around and over and under, and keep going until you get that length. 
Okay, so after a while, you're obviously going to go ahead and get the length that you want, the length of your lay that you want. And so we're going to go ahead and move into the next step. Now let's go ahead and do just one more. Let's add one more row of going around and over and under, okay? Just so I can show you. So that was the last time we went around and over and under, over and under. Now watch carefully. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna take it off of each finger, but still stack it upon each other. We don't want it, we don't wanna get, we don't want to lose any of it or else the whole yarn unravels from this web this lay that you've made and unfortunately that took some time so you don't want to go ahead and unravel it so here we go you can see close up to it just like that how we go ahead and move to the next step okay again you see how I took it off of my first my pointer finger I carry it over to my middle finger okay you see that now I carry both of them over from my middle finger over to my ring finger there, okay? Then I carry them all over to my pinky. So they're all on my pinky there. Now, here's what you're going to do with the other end, okay? So now with this part, okay, now you've got it all on your pinky. So now the part that's attached to the ball, okay, you're going to have to go ahead and snip a piece off. But don't snip too close there because we're going to have to use some of that string to go through all of the holes that's left on our pinky. So yes, sorry about that. I did forget another um, tool that you will need to go ahead and make your yarn lay. You will need a pair of scissors. Now, please, please, please remember that the proper way to hold scissors is right, just like this, with the sharp point in your hand. And always, always walk, no running, with scissors. We do not want to get hurt, trip, and get hurt with this. As I always remind my students, it's always about safety. We expect um, our um, individuals, we're supposed to be safe ourselves, we're supposed to contribute to our own safety, and again, when we're doing so, we're contributing to the safety of others. We want to be respectful of our, ourselves and others. So we're at that point. Once again, we're all of, we've transferred all of the yarn from this finger, this finger, this finger, all the way up to just one finger there. Okay. Now again, we're at that point where the ball of yarn, okay, and the part that's still attached to the lay part needs to be separated. We're going to snip it with our scissors. So go ahead, stick your, why don't you go ahead, stick your middle finger down and see wherever it is that your middle finger reaches you could go ahead and cut it about there because again we don't want to cut it too close to the lay or else it all starts to unravel so we're good there then you could go ahead and move your yarn your ball of yarn out of the way and as you can see so we've got that portion there now and all of the yarn left here now what we're going to do my both hands are free to go ahead and do this again while the whole the whole time this thing is just kind of resting on your table or whatever or it can just dangle in the air just like that so now we take it off of our pinky it's off my pinky there you can see there okay i'm going to stick this part right through all that we've collected from our fingers stick it right through there so they don't unravel i'm going to stick it there okay tie it together make sure that it doesn't fall apart it's still going to be okay just like that I tugged on it, so it's safe there, okay? So now, that's what we have, right there. What we can do next, okay, we're gonna take both ends now, okay, of the lay, you see there's still that portion where we had, that's the part that we had on our thumb from the very beginning, this was on our thumb, so now it's just kind of dangling there. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put these two together, tie it together. So some people can go ahead and make a fancy uh, like little um, extra bow, a, a fancy little bow here. And you know what? That's what we'll do. Okay, we're going to tie it and do a little bow. At we're going to go ahead and tie a bow at the end of it, okay? So you're going to take one end of the lay. Again, that's the end where uh, our, that's the piece that was originally on our thumb. We're going to take that end, we're going to take the end of the other, tie it 
together almost like you're tying your shoes okay just like that you tied a knot you can make some bunny ears okay yeah just like tying your shoe at the ending of it bunny ear over under and pull okay got that and then we've got all that excess string the string that we don't need extra snip it off and you got your yarn lay. That's your little yarn lay again. It's not as fancy as this one, but my mother made this one. Lucky me that I've got such a creative mom to make such special lays like this. But again, this was the very first lay that I learned in elementary school. And so now I taught it to ele elementary students that may, have, may see this video and any, and any other student. Just a fun activity to do while we're all at home. Again, this is something that I wanted to go ahead and provide uh, students all over. And parents, parents, this is an opportunity to go ahead and take a break. And while your student can go ahead and learn and make a little yarn lay. As we celebrate May Day, and again, where I'm originally from, my birth state of Hawaii, May Day is Lay Day. And again, lays represent aloha. And right now, during the craziness of COVID-19, we could all use an extra dose of Aloha. Take care, everyone. Aloha.